Let's go to Lebanon now, and that country has been going through a deep financial crisis for the past three years, and its tourism industry has been heavily affected, with most international visitors deterred by the country's instability. But now Iraqi holidaymakers are flocking to Lebanon, giving a vital boost for the country's economy. Our Middle East correspondent Anna Foster reports. A new wave of tourists is arriving in Lebanon. Years of instability, a collapsing currency and the impact of COVID saw visitor numbers fall drastically. But from one part of the world, they're on the rise. Iraqis can now get visas easily and many lower earners are coming here because their money goes a long way. When they first step inside Jeta, they stop and say, it's legendary, like something from a film. Fatima used to be a French teacher, but now she's a tour guide. Every day she hires a bus and takes as many as 100 Iraqis around the sites of Lebanon. Jana lives in Baghdad. She says Lebanon's problems aren't an issue because they're so familiar. We're used to that. Even in Iraq, we don't have electricity. And the people are tired. They need to relax and unwind. And so they come here. There are other reasons too. Many of them used to visit Turkey. But in July, a picnic site in northern Iraq was attacked, killing eight tourists. Turkey denied it, but some people changed their holiday plans in anger. After bombing, I don't feel secure to go to Turkey because uh, uh, we're never assured that what is the next step if any escalation with the Iraqi government uh, is taking place in the future. Lebanon's currency has lost 90% of its value. So the money Iraqi tourists spend here is vital to keep businesses going. If they weren't here, we would feel the difference because the numbers are very high. They spend a lot of money in this place. Today, tour guide Fatima has brought her Iraqi group to Baalbek to see its spectacular Roman temples. Lebanon is a beautiful place, but right now its problems are putting some tourists off. Not Iraqis, though, because much of what's happening here reflects what they're already living at home. And things like easy to obtain visas, the good exchange rate and the warm welcome they receive when they arrive means many of them are more likely to come here than anywhere else. We don't have industry, we don't have trade, we have nothing in Lebanon. That's what attracted me to tourism. It's the best way to save the country. Tourism alone isn't enough to reverse Lebanon's failing economy. But every dollar spent by these new tourists helps people like Fatima to survive. Anna Foster, BBC News, Lebanon.